Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be creating two cards with you using Happy Hauntings which is from Craft Consortium and illustrated by the hugely talented House Couple Ditch. Now this collection did originally launch last year and I will leave a link in the description box to my original video showing you in detail the gorgeous 12 by 12 paper pad. I think I also had the wooden shapes which will be in that video but in case you wanted to check it out the link will be in the description box. This collection just re-released this year and they have added a decoupage kit and puffy stickers to it so I could not wait to get creating with it so I decided to film it pre-record it and hold on to it until just before Halloween which is why you're seeing it now now I also wanted to use up some of my scraps I keep hold of every single last piece of offcut and they kind of build up so I thought let's use up my scraps to make two lovely cards let's use these amazing decoupage kits and let's film a video now most of the products in this video today are going to be by craft consortium but not all of them so i will leave a link in the description box to the craft consortium bits in case you're wanting to pick anything up so let's move these scraps out of the way and get creating the first card i'm going to be making is using a six by six card blank and i'm going to use this little topper where they're sitting on the tree branch super cute so the first thing I'm going to do is use this purple non-shed glitter card to create a base layer. Now I did have to cut this to a bit of an odd size because those 6x6 card blanks are never 6x6. So this has been cut to 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 3 quarters. So I'm just going to adhere that straight onto the base. Next I'm going to bring in this amazing piece of spider web dsp now it almost fit exactly on there but not quite so i had to trim it down a bit i think i left about a quarter of an inch border but there you go you can see it down the next thing i wanted to do was to create a small box and i decided to bring in this piece which is green and orange I decided to go with the green side because I thought it contrasted really nicely with that orange card and I've left about an eighth of an inch border um, on this, this, this box, sorry. Now, I'm not giving you the sizes for these because you can make yours bigger, smaller, whatever you want. I'm just giving you a rough idea of how to put this together but it looks super cute when it's finished and I loved it. So that's all been adhered down and then the next off cut is this green and orange stripey piece. Oh my word, I love this piece of DSP. So I decided it needed something underneath it and I originally tried a green piece but it just wasn't working for me. So I grabbed out this black non-shed glitter card and I loved it, I loved the effect. I've left maybe an eighth of an inch border on that one as well and I've created the long box. Then I've grabbed out the bats. I could not resist using these bats. I love the bats. And I've created another box and matted that onto a green this time. So as you can see I've adhered that all to the bottom. Now there are borders. There's borders between the purple and the spider web and then between the spider web and all the boxes and then there's small borders between each box as you can see there. I think it's really really effective. So it's time to put our decoupage piece on the top. Because the corners of the decoupage are rounded I grabbed a corner rounder and I just rounded off the corners of my base layer here because all the boxes had um, base card I decided to do the same for the decoupage kit and I think it really worked so I'm going to put that up on foam pads I just thought it would bring something a little bit different and make it stand out a little bit so I'm just popping this up on foam pads. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I upload a couple of times a week and I really appreciate the support. So that's now on the front and I decided it needed a sentiment. So I grabbed the puffy stickers. I love these puffy stickers. 
and I could not resist that little boo. I just thought it worked so well. You could just imagine the owl sitting in the tree going boo as people walk past. And I had also got some of these fussy cut pieces. These are from the pads. Um, there's a pumpkin and a bat. So again, I've put those up on foam pads just to finish off the card. So that's what I'm doing here. And that's the finished card. I really hope you like it. I hope it's given you some inspiration for how to make this kind of card. And I hope you'll give it a go. So moving on to the next card, I'm using the pumpkin decoupage kit. This time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to make an aperture card for this. So I've got this set of nesting dies here and I'm going to use two, the maybe the second and third biggest ones. So I'm taking the smaller of the two and I'm going to use it to cut round the decoupage area. And I'm going to hold it in place with washi tape because I just find that washi tape works the best for holding dies in place, especially when it's low tack. And obviously I'm doing Halloween cards, so I had to use my Halloween washi tape. So I'm just holding the die in place and then I run it through my big shot. Now when you run it through, you need to make sure you open up the card so that it only cuts out the front might sound obvious but I thought I'd point it out just in case there's anyone really really new watching this this is the DSP I'm going to be using along with this um, holographic purple from my stash this is going to go on the inside of the card so the purple first then the pumpkins the decoupage sheet I will kind of slide that in as a last Thing. so you can go ahead and adhere the first layer down but before you put the decoupage kit in you kind of want to put the glue on and then slide it in so that you can wiggle it around with the front closed slightly to make sure you've got it in exactly the right place just be aware of glue kind of oozing out so once that's in place and I'm happy we can go ahead with the next section so I'm using black um non shed glitter card for the front again this is cut to five and seven eighths by five and three quarters now to make sure i get my die in the right place i carefully hold the black card in place and then mat it down with the washi tape and then i just draw around the aperture like so and then all i need to do is remove the washi tape and i can basically put the die on my um, outline and hold it in place with some washi to run it through my big shot and voila <laughs> that has die cut beautifully and I can just adhere that straight onto the front of my card now I think it really really worked it looked beautiful so then I have the ghost DSP now again that was cut to five and seven eighths by five and three quarters and I decided to put that on the inside of the card so I've done the same again and adhered that to the front. So after the video, I did go back and add some frames because I wasn't 100% happy. You can write on the back of this card. That's absolutely fine. We need to decorate the front up. So again, go and grab my puffy stickers. I love these. They feel so nice as well to the touch. So I decided I was going to use the pumpkins and I'm also going to use the trick or treat sentiment. I kind of knew who I was going to send this to as well, which I think helps when you're decorating the card. That spider was so cute. I don't like spiders, but that spider was so, so cute. So I thought I would put the pumpkins in the bottom corner. I thought it matched in with the decoupage kit beautifully. They're obviously at a pumpkin patch. So we have the googly eyed pumpkin going in the bottom. And then I thought I'd put another one bang in the middle. Then I grabbed out this scrap piece of DSP and I actually fussy cut the ghouls and ghost sign. 
Now, when I fussy cut it, I had to go on a bit of an angle, so I knew I needed to get a puffy sticker that would cover that slight curve, and I thought a bat would absolutely do it. Out come my foam pads again. And they rip so easily, it's so easy to adjust them to what you need. So I'm just going to place it down and then I'm just going to grab a bat out and cover that curve. Worked so well. Look how cute that looks. Then I wanted some um, enamel dots. These are actually from the Gift of Giving collection, which is still a craft consortium collection. Um, but obviously it's not a Halloween one. But the purple dots worked so well for this card that I had to use them. And that is the finished card when I'd finished filming. As I say, I did go back in after the event and put a frame on the inside of the card and on the outside of the card just because I felt it needed it. But those are the finished cards. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. Let me know which is your favourite card. Is it the pumpkin patch or is it the owls on the branch? I really hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'll be back soon with more videos. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.